Hello and welcome to another episode of Sitar Gurukul. This is Nishit De. Today is that day where we start learning our very first composition, that too in Raga Yaman. Now, many of you might ask, what is a composition? A composition is not very different from a song. It is essentially a, comb it's a, a composed melodic expression uh, that is used to house all your materials that you are going to learn to play on your sitar. For example, the tans. It is. It usually has three parts. The first part is known as the sthai. The second part is known as the manja, and the last part is known as the antara or ending. So as we learn the composition, I am going to keep telling you and explaining what happens where. But for today, I am going to keep it simple because we have a lot to learn. So firstly, what I am going to do is I am going to get my Tabla app on. So I am using Aishala. On the last episode, I explained how uh, you can, how to understand the syllables of Tabla. And I have also told you that we have uh, two significant beats, the sum and the kali, the sum being the first beat of the first half, the kali being the first beat of the second half. So usually compositions these days are either from kali, which is the ninth beat in terms of tintal, or it is from the twelfth beat. But today the composition that we are going to learn is going to be from the sum or the number one beat. It is a composition that is probably three or four hundred years old. I was first taught this composition, this was also my first composition that I have learned around 16, 17 years ago. And when I started this composition, learning this composition, and I was learning it for almost three years. And at a point I got bored because I thought it was a children's composition, not that I was an expert. Uh, and then I heard Ustad Vilayat Khan's version of this, which is a tarana. I'll tell you later what a tarana is. So it was a tarana and he started playing it, mm -hmm. it at 300 BPM, which was crazy fast for me at that time, even for today. And then I learned that after I heard that composition, or you can find it on YouTube, you just have to write Yaman by Ustad Vilayat Khan. And it's an audio, age old audio recording. I think around, it should be around 40 years uh, old. So you're, on the second half of that composition, you're going to find him playing the composition that we are going to learn today. And it's crazy fast. He plays it blazing at blazing speeds. So the plan is, since we have the six tans, we are going to start to learn how to embed them in our composition. And as we go, I'm going to keep explaining how this kind of music works. So I'm going to turn on the tabla and then I'm going to explain how this works. So before I tell you the composition, Let's identify the sum and the kali. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, one, two, three, four. So we're going to come back to this. First, let, allow me to demonstrate only the first part or the mukra of the composition. So you're going to play the first, uh, the first uh, part of the composition we are going to learn today. And also I'm going to show you how to put inside the tans that you have learned. On the next two episodes, we are going to learn the mantra and the antara. So the first line is Ni ga ga re ga. So here, there are a couple of confusions that might appear and I'll start clearing them one by one. Firstly, the stroking pattern is something that I have already taught you in one of those lessons, an advanced bowl practice, which was da 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 This composition mostly will consist of the first part of that exercise, which is da 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 So ni ga ga re ga is going to be played by da 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 so ni ga ga re ga and then pa ma da One more time. 
and then a chikari and then pa ma da so and then you have ni da da pa ma ga re re sa ni the stroking pattern here will be da da ra da ra da da ra da ra this bit now let me show you the fingering techniques so there are a couple of different fingering techniques that you uh, may try my personal favorite is this way so you play the ni gaga rega with index then you shift so we you already learned how to how to skip a note and shift from the thumbs that we have learned so we are going to use all that knowledge to play the composition so you have ni gaga rega Ga, of course, is the note you're going to return from, so it only makes sense that you're going to play it with uh, your middle finger. So, ni, ga, ga, re, ga. Da, da, ra, da, ra. It's very important that you do not mess this up, so write it down somewhere. Ni, then while you have this finger position the ni ga ga re ga then you are going to shift this entire position that the index finger is in one note and the middle finger is another and you shift this entire position to pa and ma so where your index is going to lie on tivra ma and the middle finger is going to lie on pa so one more time And then the rest pa ma da here if you see i am playing the pa and then with my middle finger and then with my index i'm playing the ma and then i'm shifting with the index finger so and then you have ni da da pa ma that i'm playing starting the ni with uh, the middle finger since i'm going to return from ni so ni da da pa ma ga re re sa ni so composition here is going to start from sum it is highly unlikely that you are ever going to really end up playing a composition that actually starts from sum although this was the way classical music this was uh, the traditional way of starting a composition uh, quite some time ago but the newer variations newer styles of starting a composition came uh, we have masid khani gath we have raza khani gath which are something that we are going to talk uh deeper in some other episode when we are at a more advanced stage so and i have heard vila ustad vila khan play this composition from the from khali but i was taught this composition from the sum and i think it is important so you understand the significance of the sum better because regardless of you starting a composition from the sum or not the significant uh, sum will always be uh, the primary significant uh, beat uh, of any tal you're ever going to play be it in fractions be it uh, even number tal or an odd number tal so i think this is, is a very good approach to start the composition uh, by playing uh, uh, starting with sum so you are not going to forget it for the rest of your life so this composition is designed to fit exactly in the 16 beat cycle so it's 1 2 3 4 5 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4. So to give you a better idea, I'm going to turn on my tabla, which is already in 100 BPM. So I added in a little bell on the sum, which should be appearing right now. 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, here goes. mentioned that there are usually two significant places mm, in an even beat cycle tab. One is the sum of course and the next one is Kali. So Kali if you remember what I said the sum is the first beat of the first half of an even beat cycle. The Kali is the second uh, is the first beat of the second half of an even beat cycle. So uh, if you if you have any confusions regarding that I have a detailed uh, a demonstration of what I'm talking about in my last episode, episode number 28. You're more than welcome to check that out. So coming back here in this composition, you have those two halves. So you have ni ga ga re ga pa ma da. So you have one, two, three, four. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the dha is going to land on the last beat of the first half, which is eight. So, and then the ni dha that's going to start from the ninth beat, which is the kali. So, I'm gonna turn the tabla on again, just to show you how it's working and I'm also going to count for you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 16, 1, 2, 3, 4. So what I'm trying to explain over here is that by the time you're on the 8th beat, uh, just a little pointer that I just thought of, the chikari is going to be on the 5th beat. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you play the pa ma da, the pa, is go, the pa is going to land on the 6th beat. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now interestingly, I've been telling you that all your tans, all the six tans that you have learned are all going to be counted as eight beats. And let me show you how. So you play the composition and you finish it off at dha, uh, not finishing it off, just you're going to hold uh, at dha. So if you, if you take away uh, a total of 16 beats, if you take away the first half, you are remain, you're, you are, mm, you have a remainder of eight beats. So, and your tans are 8 beats. So, theoretically, if you place those 8 beat tans on the 8 beats that are available here, it should become a perfect match. So, I'm going to give you a demonstration before I give you an explanation. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16.
if you if you stop and th and straight away take your tans from the very next beat which is the ninth beat or khali it's going to be a perfect match now the only trick the only tricky portion is playing the tans at double speed so the composition is usually played uh, in single speed which means you're going exactly every stroke you're putting in is usually going along um, along the um, every beat of whatever the tal is but the tans or triplets have uh, are always going to be played uh, in double that speed sure we have uh, we have phenomenons like like adi and uh, a few other things like that the speed is going to change but for now yeah, our golden rule is whatever tan that we are going to learn is always going to be double that speed in order for you to do that it's very important that you already know how to play your tans in double that speed we've already been practicing with the metronome but with the tabla i'm going to give you another pointer on how it works so every da stroke when you're playing drop double every da stroke is going to fall in one of those beats so start playing da on every beat three two one now what we are, now what we are going to do is we are going to add in a ra in between all of the da's that we are playing so just to the new tabla you're going to notice that if you if, uh, since it's your very first time uh, playing the composition with the tabla since it's a lot to calculate you're going to notice that your body is trying to stiffen up while you're playing so 100 bpm even if, if you have been acing 100 bpms on all your tans uh, with this composition you're going to see that your brain is trying to concentrate, to concentrate on something else and moving away from the beat is very normal your body getting stiff and not that flexible uh, is very normal having problems is very normal and that's something you don't need to worry about all you have to do is turn on the tabla and just play this first bit of the composition and try to play all this uh, all the tans that you have learned that is going to be your practice so for example you play the composition uh, once you get that done and after a few times when you are done with playing the composition you stop at tha and you start practicing the tans so that is going to be the new new way that you're going to start practicing the tans and you can do them i don't know 50 times and then take a break or not and then start all over again till you get all the six tans all the six tans right so you have the first tan is the second today's class i'm sure there are confusions there are stuff that you want me to clear me out 
but bear with me and do write to me so that I can clear them out in the future. For today, your practice is going to be accumulating, uh, you've already accumulated six stans. You have to put them in order, starting with the first stan till the sixth stan by playing the composition along it. So that's it for today. See you on the next class with the next portions of the composition. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.